question for all of you. So um, I am a very big inspire, er, aspiring actress. I've wanted to act ever since I can remember. Awesome. And so I was wondering if you guys had an, is something happening? There's a bit there's a bit of a, mur a, a murmuration going on here. What's going on? Are we okay? Okay. Everyone's okay. Okay. Carry on with your question. Sorry. You're an aspiring actress. Yes. Oh yeah. So it's like my dream to work in some kind of like sci-fi or like action stuff. Awesome. And so I was wondering what your guys' acting journey was like to get to where you are right now. Well, how long do we have? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> my favorite question. No. Um I didn't like it's, 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 it. I started when I was very young, but not professionally. My sister had, was, big, was very passionate about making me look stupid, so she put on plays in our garage, or garage, as you guys call it. Um, and, uh, and the neighbors would come in, and I would just be standing there in my mum's wig, and uh, uh, she had a wig. I don't know how they did that in the 80s. And, um, and her nurse's outfit. <laughs> This is really a photo of it, and, and just like that, time, I kind of got a love for it, and then I watched her do a play when she was in middle school, um, and I was like nine, and I was like, wow, this is, looks awesome. They were doing a production of Oliver, and so after that, then, like, it's a long, long story, but uh, that's kind of was my first kind of introduction to it, and then I really had a love for it after that. Um, I would say that it's, uh, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Uh, it's a long, winding journey. Uh, it's also, um, if, you, if you love it that much, you like, you, it work, it takes work. It, and self-motivation, no one else is gonna uh, do it for you and you've gotta do the work when no one wants it. Because eventually they will want it and you better be ready, otherwise, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, we'll um, the cherry. Yeah, so uh, it's, it's just uh, hang in there and, and watch other people and read a bunch of books and see what other people, are, what they've done learn from their mistakes and their successes. Yeah. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> no, it's about your acting journey, though. Well, I would guess our acting journey is going to be much different than yours, because when we started, it was literally cutting out resumes, stapling headshots, and sending them in the mail. Mm -hmm. And going every morning, or Wednesday mornings, to get the backstage west and get the audition postings and, and writing the addresses and putting them in the mail and waiting for the call. and. Then, much different these days. Like you have much you guys more. Have an email? <laughs> <laughs> you have much more power. <laughs> you have much more power in <laughs> than we did. You have so much at your fingertips with the internet, obviously. But then also, what you can make on your phone is leagues ahead of what we had to do to get into, like, say, a student film. Yeah. So just like what uh, the character Adam here is saying, is just keep doing it. Just do it, do it, do it. On your phone, with your friends, and then at some point, hopefully. Uh, I, that, that's great advice. Like, but it's, and, and, and also, the, you've got more access, but it's also the, the competition is so much stronger. You go onto YouTube and you see, like Richard Spade's kids, or no, no it's it, Rob Bendix's kids make these kind of like, action movie things on their phone, they're like, you know, 15 and 10 or 12 or something like, you know? So, the standard is so much higher, everybody keeps pushing the boundaries of, of cutting things, and you look at Instagram, or you look at whatever, and it's, it's amazing what people do, I'm like, oh my god, can you cut my show real? Or, can you, here child, here, here four year old, <laughs> can you film my self tape? Um, and it, but so it's sad, and, 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 and what the guys really said is like it's so important. There's no, there's no. You're the, you're the only person looking after your career. Your agents, your managers. If you get that far, it's, no one really cares. So you've got to do all the work yourself. And that's I think it's the most daunting thing about anything. You know, uh, a lot of people just like like the comfort of a, a nine to five job, job. Like I've had lots of friends who were actors back when I started, and they've all not all, but some of them have quit because they wanted to have a family and have kids and. You know, look, you can't, but it's like it's harder. You know, it's it's it's, it's definitely harder. So, um, like someone says, uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah, was it Michael Caine? Does it pay me for the uh, waiting around the actors for free? Yeah. Um, because you're waiting around most of your life, and then you get to do what you know Jake was doing last week or whatever. It's like it's it's a, it's it's an amazing gift. It's an amazing feeling, but you you're on your own. You gotta do it yourself. Yeah, patient. That's a, that's abstract. I think the most concrete thing is. Get a, get a great headshot that shows who you are and get an agent. Because mm -hmm. you 
you won't get a lot of work without without a, a, an agent. No. And then go from there. It's like there's no. When I was young, I used to be like, oh, I wish someone could just tell me. I wish Leonardo DiCaprio could just tell me how he does it. Not gonna happen. It's each experience is individual, and yeah. you're only as good as you push yourself. And that was it. Like, you no, know, I, I remember. I remember going Don't ask actors actor questions because we will go on. <laughs> But that's it, like, you know, like, you know, do, are you a Stan Slavsky or do you read Ruth uh, 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 what's her name, Hagen, um, Ruda Hagen's book, um, and, and, and it's like, but you cherry pick from all of them, like, no, David Mamet's True and False or Heresy or whatever. Most of it's crap. It's, there's, yeah. some, there's some stuff in there. But there's really, that you pick out, but he's like, the actors just marry the media to get my words on the stage. Ugh. And you're like, fuck you, David Mamet. <laughs> <laughs> but he does. Someone tweet that out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Are there kids? Do we all sign the thing again today, yeah? Okay. <laughs> Fuck shit balls, you can say anything. But you can. Earmuffs. You can say anything. <laughs> Should you? Thank you, sorry. Thank you. Hope you got something out of that. Good luck. Hi. Hi guys. Hi. Uh, it's actually my birthday convention this time, so I'm very happy. Happy birthday. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh. Happy birthday to you. each other's useless superpower would be. You can't give your own, it has to be the other two give it to you. <laughs> like, for example, my friends decided mine would be that I could make the mating call of any animal for me. <laughs> That's, That's useless? <laughs> That's useless? <laughs> Zoo would be happy. You <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, can turn uh, water into potatoes. Jesus. <laughs> what is poutine? 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 No, yes. not poutine. Oh, yes. You know what poutine is? Yes. Irish. Yeah. It's Irish. It's like it's literally oh. like the way we, oh. we would make it. It's Irish vodka. Yeah. It's, well, you can make that out of potatoes that you make out of water. But that's the same, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or you can just make water into poutine, poutine which would be more like... No, no, no. That's not the step. That's not what I'm getting for. <laughs> but that's not useless at all. Yeah. He'd be a millionaire. <laughs> you would not want to be able to turn water into potatoes. That would get old so quick. Actually, that's how it potatoes really, are you, made. You'd have to do so much work to get to the other part of it. Um, I agree with that. Uh, I suppose I should do you. Okay. Um, oh, I don't know. Or, I don't know. Is that you that's probably the you do his. I, I, I think you want to prefer to do him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, let's see. You, the, you can turn all your shoes into powdered milk. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty useless. <laughs> you can grow your fingernails on demand. <laughs> like Meg does in, like in Meg. That's, that's what I meant. Yeah. That's exactly what I meant. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I was gonna say, I get the whole shut up made thing all. <laughs> None of ours were as creative as you could make the maiden call of any animal. It's, it's creative friends. Envious. <laughs> yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Be good. She good goes girl. up no other way. Good girl. Thank you, Meg. Thank you. Oh my god, Jake, question for you. Huh. Actually, the question's for all three of you this time. <laughs> Um, I was wondering what your favorite movies are, or and also who your favorite movie actor or actress is. Uh, that's a long list. I mean, right off the bat. You know, I, I mean, I, I, like, uh, David Hayden Jones is a great answer to this. He's like, it doesn't do well with favorites because there's so many great things that you've experienced over your life. And, um, I agree wholeheartedly with it, but because, you know, I could, I, Tootsie is one of my favorite films of all time. Yeah. Justin Hoffman is awesome in that movie, you know, um, anything with Robin Williams, like it's, you know, there's, there's, 
literally just the endless list of stuff. Paper Moon. Oh. Great movie. Uh, Peter Bogdanovich film. There Will Be Blood. And I was going to say that there will be blood. And, and, and then that also gives <laughs> into the favorite actor with There Will Be Blood. So the serious actors are the, the joke. performances <laughs> of film history is Daniel Day-Lewis and There Will Be Blood. Yeah, he's awesome. You know, a buddy of mine played a young Christy Brown in My Left Foot. Do you know, you ever seen My Left Foot? Have you ever seen My Left Foot? He won his first Oscar for My Left Foot, and a buddy of mine that I was working with, he played the young version of him in that movie, and uh, he's amazing in that movie, Daniel Day-Lewis. He's just off the charts. Um, Brenda Fricker as well, great movie, My Left Foot. There's like this, it's such a, well, what's your favorite movie? Uh, Shawshank Redemption. That's awesome. Do you know I I I I, I golf with the guy who plays uh, who rapes Tim Robbins in that movie. <laughs> there you go. Next question. And see. Jake, but uh, first of all, I want to say that you were awesome in Percy Jackson, the first one, and the second one. <laughs> yeah, I was hanging there, I was like, the first one, and the second one. And the second one. <laughs> you were pretty shit the second one. Pretty shit the second one. Were you phoning it? Yeah, it. Uh, uh, typical yeah. sequel yeah. behavior. Uh, <laughs> my question is, um, what other actor would you, uh, do you like to work with most on set? Um, <clears throat> it's between Jared or Jensen. <laughs> I won't say who. Not Misha. Oh, you need good. Um, no, Misha and I actually. We, no, I can't say anything. Oh shit! You're almost. Question. I knew when you were doing that. That's awesome. <laughs> um. Uh. Ooh, I, you know, I, I can't. It's almost like asking what your favorite movie is because I've been I've been very fortunate that I've worked with a lot of. Uh, great actors who are also great people, and that's uh, very rare. <laughs> uh, so, I, I mean, I could, uh, I could pick one, but to go on theme with the Percy films, um, Alexander Dario, who uh, played Annabeth, uh, is a very close friend. She was uh, one of my wife's bridesmaids. I go to her house at least once a week to check on her dog. There's always something, her dog door's open or something. Um, but, uh, but she's remained a very close friend uh, out of those films. So, all these ten years later. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. I have Hi. a question for all three of you. Um, for each one of you, what was your favorite scene to shoot in Supernatural? <laughs> all of them. Yeah. 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 Definitely not the one where I got shot in the head. Oh, I don't like that either. And, uh, it, actually, it actually was a very fun uh, one to film, but uh, <clears throat> my very last day of filming on Supernatural was um, the big fight with uh, Dayon. Um, and uh, it was like one scene that we shot, well it was like two scenes, but uh, the, the majority of the work was done in this big action sequence over 14 hours we were filming it. And it was, it was incredibly fun because we did it at night, it was my last day, everyone made it very special. So it was kind of a, it was a, it was a special day, that's it. But they were all so much fun, all of them. Every day on set, Supernatural was just brilliant fun. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed uh, his, the first episode that Asmode Days appeared in. The entrance, I don't think I'll ever have a better entrance on anything. <laughs> and the speech about the history with him and Lucifer was, I, I just, the writing was incredible in that. And yeah, I love it all. That so. was chilling. Thanks. <laughs> um, uh, and honestly, not as a joke, uh, there were two scenes I, I cannot currently talk about. Uh, that uh, you were really brought in here that, to pull up season. Yeah, yeah really, well, I got a job, like, a single job. Uh, but it's the truth. Uh, there, there were a couple scenes that definitely uh, sort of took the first place as far as like uh, the fun that uh, I got to have. So you mean I actually have to get caught up and watch the new season? No, you can just watch episode 8 of this. <laughs> That's fine. No, thank you. It won't affect me. <laughs> well, it did blow me away when I first working, started working on the show, the, the, the quality of the writing of the show. Like, you know, you, I, you know not that I, um, I was... I was surprised, but I don't know why I was surprised. But it, it was like... And then I know Momo Burns quite well from beforehand, and 
Like I was just the the the, the degree and the level to keep a show going and keep it fresh for 15 years. A show like this, it's crazy hard. It's so hard not to be repetitive. It's so hard to kind of reinvent yourself every couple of years. And the, it's an, that's that's a, like the you know we talk about how great Jared and Jensen are as leaders, and it's so true. But the writers are uh, a huge part of what why the show went for as long as it did, and it's a it's a credit to them. They're all. Awesome. Yeah. And our industry, we have this terrible word called demographics, right? And it's like men and women, age this and that, this and that. And I was, years ago, when I, before I first did my first episode, I thought I wasn't the demographic, right? Me too, right? I told and then you. a friend of mine who was a big fan, she was like, you have to sit down and watch a couple episodes before you go do this show, I love it. And I had no idea, just like you said, how smart and how funny it was. And I was like, this show is for everyone, which is why I think you see every kind of person at these conventions. Yeah, yeah. And that was like uh, uh, such a, a great discovery uh, for me, and it sounds like uh, for you guys as well, because uh, yeah, you, you get these thoughts in your head that things aren't for you, and like, it's just bullshit. I'm not CW. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But this show is, uh, stands alone, it's very, very special. Uh, oh my god, it's a bit of sad, is it? Um, sorry, carry on. Let's get another one in. Let's get another one in. One more question. One more. Go Chiefs! Go Chiefs! Go Chiefs! Is Mahomes out for a while? Three weeks? He's injured. Four weeks. He's missing that big game against the Packers. question? Sorry, question. Already, so sorry to have. But uh, what's your least favorite scene you've had to shoot supernatural? Anything with Jensen and Jared? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the death scene, of course. <laughs> sorry. Uh, when I had to, uh, you can't talk about season. It. I can't talk about. It. Sorry. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, when I, uh, I think it was Jared had the wound, and I had to stick my finger inside of it, and like. Excuse like, me. Uh, was the onset? No. That's a great word. But the blood, they're like, oh, the blood's chocolate based. It was not. It was like garbage based. It was awful. Second least favorite, a uh, Molotov cocktail that wouldn't break on my nipple. Yeah. When Misha, come on, this is like a very famous scene in this show. Misha, hey ass butt, throws a Molotov cocktail that will not break, and my nipple got bruised. This is, like, this is like a known thing, guys. Did you, did you skip did you chest research? Day? Huh? Did you skip chest day? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, mine was exactly that. <laughs> Just Carter! Carter! Damn it! I don't know, getting shot by David Hayden Jones was a great fun either. I kept trying to move my head when we were taking it, and I was like, I missed! But you got me in there. <laughs> yeah, I, I screamed out, I'll be back! And they cut it, they cut it. <laughs> Sons of bitches, man. This is like fucking sad. I thought like I already died on the I know, like I died too. Well, I almost think we're in the end of the panel. Let's <laughs> 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 go. Oh, 